almost eight months in the making. Now the new kid in town is officially on the air. It is 4 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, and this is the first ever news hour from Al Jazeera America. Welcome, everyone. The launch of the 24-hour news channel has attracted plenty of attention from its peers. This is now their direct competition. We have team coverage of the turmoil in Egypt. Even as reports were circulating all day that the White House had... The network has hired more than 900 people and built a new newsroom from the ground up. Reporting from Nashville. Reporting from Dallas. From Detroit. From Seattle. There are crews in 12 domestic bureaus contributing to 14 hours a day of straight news bulletins. Al Jazeera America promises to cover stories from places the other networks aren't and has invested heavily in investigative reporting. We'll have the resources to be able to go deeper, stay longer, tell more stories in a given topic. We're not going to run in somewhere, cover what's going on and then go home. Money has rarely been an issue for Al Jazeera. And now, for the first time, executives will have to consider another set of numbers, ratings. So the official launch is over and now the hard work really begins. The question is, will anyone watch it? The network still needs to shake off its reputation in some small circles as anti-American. Negative perceptions about Al Jazeera, which began when George W. Bush was president, still linger. And January's announcement that the Qatari government had bought Al Gore's current TV station renewed some of those concerns. Jewish watchdog groups in the United States have... And yet they're about to infiltrate America. But Al Jazeera English has gained credibility and awards since it launched in 2006, Go in Cairo, especially for its coverage of the Arab Spring. Viewership of Al Jazeera is going up in the United States because it's real news. But now there's a trade-off. As part of the current TV deal, Al Jazeera America will show Al Jazeera English for just four hours each day. But viewers in the US can no longer live stream the English channel or watch its programs or stories online. There definitely was an audience here in the US for it. And I think Al Jazeera America really needs to get into as many homes as possible so that those people who were watching Al Jazeera English will have an alternative. I just returned from the northern front of this massive fire. The Senior staff are confident they've got the mix right in one of the most ambitious challenges to the American media landscape the country has ever seen. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New York.